In this section, we are going to talk about configuration backups through GUI and CLI. Well, running a configuration backup is super easy, either from the CLI or from the graphical user interface. At the same time, it's absolutely important to do that. You never know when your security appliance fails and as usual, as an IT engineer, you have to change it as soon as possible and restore the network. So, backupping is a very, very important step that you have to take into consideration. You should backup the configuration after successfully configuring the FortiGate firewall. So, at the moment you have the firewall configured and it does what it needs to do in the network and the network is happy, the users are happy, that's the moment you should backup your configuration. Also, you should run a backup after any future changes are made, so you have your configuration up to date, your backup configuration I mean up to date. Backup the configuration and store it on site and off site. Maybe it's a good idea also to store it in your cloud account. If you have virtual domains, VDOMs, you can backup the configuration of the entire FortiGate or only for a specific VDOM. So a VDOM is basically a configuration where you split the entire hardware appliance into smaller appliances. So in this case we have a 40 gate firewall that has four ports. We can configure two VDOMs and allocate two ports for one customer or for one department for one use case and the other two ports for the other department use case and so on. So having one hardware appliance and splitting it into two. We have multiple functionality covered. If you are using centralized management, so Forti Manager or Forti Cloud, this is a topic that we will cover in the upcoming modules, full backup is performed and no individual VDOM of the option available. Let's take a look now in the graphical user interface and see exactly where do we run the backup. So first of all we have to log in. In the top right corner we have the admin. We click on admin and then configuration and backup. Where do we want to store the backup? Is it on the local PC or maybe we have a USB disk? So we have a USB flash disk inserted into the, into the appliance and we want to store it there. As this is a virtual appliance I'm using, I don't have the USB disk option available. Also, do we want to encrypt it and a password to, to fill in here is available. Well, if I click OK, it will be downloaded and this is basically the configuration. Everything we have configured it's available here. So we can see we can see the ports, what access do we allow and so on. Now the other option is to use and set the CLI. So let's use the CLI console available in the graphical user interface. We say execute, backup, config and let's see what options are available. So we can backup the configuration on flash, so on the device, or towards an FTP server, on the management station, so on the PC, we have also the TFTP option available and to USB.